Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are going to talk about how you talk with your customers about AR or non glare coatings. Anti-reflective AR non-glare coatings. A truly mind-blowing marvel of science and physics. We're in. To learn more about what makes up AR, AR coatings, go to quantum, the address is qtmi.net. Tons of information there from the people that create AR stack recipes and make the equipment and the software that actually applies AR coatings to lenses. They're not selling anything. There's no ad. There is no marketing BS there. It's real information. Check them out. And I think Norm the owner, I think he just started a, a newsletter as well. So check them out. There are three videos that we have done which pull back the curtain and let you look behind the scenes at AR applications. Check those out. There's also a pretty good blog post I did on the Laramie K Lab website, that one. The three videos that you wanna watch, that one, that one, and that one. What's really interesting about the comments on those videos is that a lot of people finally say, hey, now I understand why that AR costs so much. It's not a rattle can that you keep in the back, step outside the door behind the shop, and then you know put them in the, the frame. Stop paying those outrageous lab bills. Stop waiting for your AR coats. That's right, if you act now, Buy one can of Bob's AR in a can, we'll send you a second can free. It's as easy as shake, rattle, and spray. Start saving today. Hey, that's not how it works. Stuff's really super complicated. Once you understand, if you do this and watch these, your confidence level on selling AR products will increase because you'll understand why they cost so much. And yes, there are all different kinds of AR stacks. They're made up differently. They're different application processes. So yes, quality matters here. There's a long, wide range, sliding scale of the quality of AR coatings. Now, because they are complex, they do cost a little bit. Like material that we did either last week or the week before, you are selling something. But again, like material, you're selling something with a reason. You can justify why you're selling it and recommending it. With that said, AR is not for everyone. It's our favorite saying, maybe progressives aren't the answer to everything. Well, AR is not the answer to everything either. Construction workers, farmers, sandblasters, people that work with certain chemicals, Talk with your customer. Listen if they've had a lot of bad experiences in the past. AR is wonderful, but it's not for everyone. For me, and I would assume for you, I would suggest it, AR is simply a given on any time you do a fully rimless pair of glasses. I'm not even talking about a choice. I'm just going to put the best AR that's available for that lens that I'm selling for a full rimless. So include a polish. It's just going to look better. That's the idea. AR is either a given or even required on high index. If you buy a stock 174 single vision, it's simply going to come with AR. You don't have a choice. So make sure you price it up appropriately. Now, the next thing, you're not going to read that here, and you're not going to hear it in one of our videos. Sad truth, non-glare coating stacks are nanometers thin. 
In reality, they're breaking down from the moment that they leave the vacuum chamber. Lens hasn't even been cut and put into a frame, and it's starting to wear. Now, they go into a pair of glasses and they live in this world of hours. Dust, dirt, dust, wind, dude. <gasps> After a year, that non-glare coating is going to start showing some wear. After two years, you can be pretty sure that it's kind of a mess. So two years is kind of the outer limits on a non-glare coating. Now you don't notice it because like other things, it wears out over time. But trust me, after two years, your AR's not what it used to be. What really matters when we are talking about AR non-glare coatings is you have an answer. And what do I mean by that? Well, we're going to sit down with Kansi, the customer, who I think just pulled up a second ago. And we're going to talk about the language that you're going to use. Because if you say, and we're going to recommend AR, and she says, well, what's that? You need to have an answer. And one that makes sense. For what it is worth, marketing studies have shown that using or saying non-glare coating sounds more appealing to a customer than anti-reflective coating. So you may want to use that instead, help your sales out a little bit. Three quick things before we get started. I will talk about AR and sunglasses when we talk about sunglasses. I will talk about AR and changeable or variable tint lenses when we talk about those. Now, about those non-glare demonstration tools out there, I have nothing against them if they work for you. I really liked the donut lens where the center of the lens was not coated and the outside was. Maybe it's the other way around. I'm old and I can't remember anymore, but I used that one quite a bit. I would avoid or be shy of the brochures, pictures, and illustrations since they can't really capture what AR does. So they seem a little sketchy to me. As always, what you want to be doing here is building a presentation. A presentation that includes these two phrases. See better, look better. Got it? See better, look better. Practice, practice, practice. Let's do some role play so that you can hear how that sounds. Good afternoon. Can't see the customer. How are you? I'm doing well today. How are you? Outstanding. We are talking about non-glare coatings. And before we talk about how you want things to come out, let's do a quick review of what you don't want, because this is the kind of stuff I've actually heard, and it makes me cringe. Kanzi may say... What is that AR stuff, this non-glare stuff? Yeah, um, it's, uh, it's like this stuff that blocks glare. <laughs> <laughs> she may say... So there's this AR stuff, it's like a non-glare? What is that? Yeah, there's a non-glare coating. It's the stuff that they put on the lens. It's, um, it, it blocks glare. And it, it's really expensive, and it, it scratches real easy, and it's hard to keep clean. Awesome. Sign me up. <laughs> All right, folks. I, and I'm not, I, I, I'm barely exaggerating. You, I, I've heard this stuff, and you know, I'm in different stores. I'll just be walking by, and you're just being nosy. And I mean, that's the kind of stuff you hear. I, I, we really <laughs> have to get better. Let's see if we can't come up with a whole lot better language. We're going to start the easiest scenario possible, and that would be I'm looking at Kanzi. I can see she's wearing AR. I have her past record. I know she's wearing AR. I'm simply going to include it in the price of her glasses. So we're kind of wrapping things up, and I would take out my calculator. I would say your frame is 234. Your lenses are 160. AR is 85. Looking at 479 for the glasses. Good. Sounds good. Wasn't that easy? <laughs> Very good. Of course, it's not always as easy as that. From this point forward, I'm going to be looking at Kansi and I'm going to be saying, 
I don't see a non-glare coating on the glasses you have now. Are you familiar with that? And she's going to say, no. And I'm going to explain to her what AR coating is. Let's get going. I'm looking at the glasses you're wearing now. I don't see a non-glare coating. Are you familiar with that? No, what is that? Okay. It's a coating that they put on the lens that allows more light through. Light is sight. So the more light through, the better that you see. Also cosmetically, it's really nice looking at you. I'm looking straight into your eyes. I'm not getting the reflection off the lights and it really makes a difference driving at night. Sounds good. Okay. Let's try it. All right, there. Wasn't that nice? <laughs> Language, listen for those words. See better, look better, or a variation of that. A great sales technique that works really, really well, almost every time I found. I know you live in your contact lenses. When are you gonna be wearing those glasses? Strictly for backup, or are you gonna be wearing them out and about and to work sometimes? Oh, just strictly for backup. Okay, never leave the case unless nope. they have to. Nope. Okay, in that case, let's just stick with what we got. We'll do the basic lens, no bells and whistles. Go down and have a cup of coffee, come back. I'll have them ready for you in about 25 minutes. Sounds good. Right, perfect. The reverse of that would be, I know you live in your contacts, but are there times when you have to wear them, your glasses, at work, out and about? Yeah, there will, that will definitely happen. Okay, yeah. in that case, let's make them a little bit nicer this time oh, around. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's do a Trivex instead of a polycarbonate, the material. You, just, it's a little bit better lens, looks a little bit better. Okay. And we'll put the non glare coating on it this time. Really important for work, uh, Zoom meetings, all that stuff. You're not getting the reflection off the computer and people are looking right into your eyes. Oh yes, I've noticed that with other people. Yeah, yeah, well, we can avoid that. Great. Right. Very good. It's extremely rare when you put it that way that people will not choose to add the better quality lens and the better quality coating. Trust me on that one. And it is a little salesy, yes, but it's also truthful. Mm -hmm. If she is forced to take her contacts out for some reason, you know, she just crawled out of bed and got to get on a Zoom meeting. She doesn't want to go through all that hassle, just throw her glasses mm -hmm. on. She wants to look good when she's on that Zoom call. It will make a difference for her. That's a good one. This one you're not going to hear very often anymore because almost all of the ARs are pretty good that are out there. But I may say, I'm looking at your glasses. I don't see a non-glare coating on there. Are you familiar with that? Oh yes, I've had them, hated them. It was a wreck. Okay, how yeah. long ago was that? I would say it was, I would say more than three years. Three, okay, yes, and did it happen to be one of maybe the discount kinds of places? Maybe. Maybe, <laughs> okay. Uh, the coatings have gotten much better than they okay. were. The one that we use is a really good product, probably won't have any of those issues that you're talking about and remembering. Okay. You see better when it's on there, you look better. Um, I think you would mention something about Zoom calls all the time. Yeah, all day. You know, when you're on the computer, people are looking right at you yeah. and into your eyes instead of getting the reflection off the computer and the light that you have now. Yeah. Um, I would encourage you to get it. I don't want to force you into anything, but I don't think you're going to have the problems you did in the past with the one that we use. I think I would try it just because, you know, life's changed with Zoom. So. Yeah, absolutely. Something okay. To try. I say I wear it all the time. It's, it's some pretty good stuff. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Don't get too pushy. Don't get too salesy, but it is a good product. It's a good thing to have. And if you are selling a good product, you're not telling her anything untruthful. It actually will be a better, easier product to work with. In this scenario, we are instantly going to age Kunsi 15 years, and she is not quite ready for cataract surgery, but she did mention... Driving at night is difficult. The headlights really bother me, so... Something you are going to hear all the time. Now, what I'm going to tell her is really important. The non-glare coating that we put on will help that. It is not going to cure anything, okay? okay? Uh, say, the non-glare coating really helps with that. It's almost the best thing it does. Driving at night really makes an improvement. Headlights don't break up quite as much. What I would do is probably switch you out of the polycarbonate that you've been wearing, that material, not great optically. Let's move you into Tribex and put a really good non-glare coating on there. It's gonna make a difference. 
can be a world of difference, but we'll, it's really honestly the best that we can do for the night driving situation. Anything that helps. Yeah, that's it. And, and believe me, I know I'm, I'm in the exact same boat. I just try to avoid driving at night whenever possible. That too. Yes. <laughs> yep. This one, thanks to somebody over on OptiBoard that mentioned modern life. I'm old, so I kind of forgot about this one because I don't know that I've ever taken a selfie in my life. I'm looking at your glasses. I do not see a non-glare coating on there. Are you familiar with that? No, I don't know what that is. Have you ever noticed when you take a selfie or you know your friends have got the camera up and all you see is the reflection of the light off of the lenses? Or you actually see the person with the camera yeah. taking the picture? Yeah, okay, the, the non-glare coating will help that. Okay. It allows more light to pass through the lens instead of getting reflected back, so you just plain look better. Another advantage is you actually see better. More light, more sight, you see better, particularly driving at night. Sounds good. Okay. See better, look better. Look better, see better. Work that in to your presentation. Okay. Let's go through that one more time so you can hear the language. I am looking at the glasses that you have on now. I do not see a non-glare coating. Are you familiar with that? No, I don't know what that is. Okay. It's a coating that's put on the lens that allows more light through. Okay. So you see better, light is sight. So when you're looking out at the world, you actually see a little bit better than an uncoated lens. What's nice cosmetically is when someone is looking at you, looking directly into their eyes, you're not getting the reflections from sunlight or lights off of the lenses. And it's really good for night driving. Perfect, let's try it. Sounds like a winner. Absolutely. <laughs> good, all right. As usual, folks, I cannot, we cannot tell you exactly what to say to anyone. This is about building your own presentation skill set. I think that should help out quite a bit because the next time I walk past your store, that's the kind of language I want to hear. I was out for a walk a little while ago and I think I had a mild epiphany about how to think about non-glare coatings. So I am gonna hop back over to the whiteboard and guide you through that while we say goodbye to Kanzi the customer for today. Bye. This is one of those pieces where I think if I think this, then maybe it is worth sharing with you. I think some of the confusion that comes through on non-glare coatings and the infamous driving at night stuff, a rabbit hole we are not going to jump down, is this. The best possible sight that you can have, ever will have, is a beautiful, bright, sunny day, healthy young eyes with no glasses on of any kind no lens in front of your eye. Beautiful, pure, natural light out in nature. Light is reflecting off of objects, entering your eye, going through your brain, providing you with beautiful, crisp, clear vision because of the amount of light that your eye is able to gather. Now, that means that there is nothing between that beautiful natural light and your eye. Repeating myself, it's as good as it can get. Because once I put a lens or anything, a screen, a windshield, a opaque curtain, whatever it might be, between the light, that beautiful natural light in our eye, we lose some light. Now, just because a lens is transparent doesn't mean that it doesn't have an affect on the light that's trying to reach your eye. That lens exists, right? It's made up of molecules and atoms and it's held together through that interaction of energy that we've talked about in the past. That natural light that's bouncing off of objects and entering your eye, when it hits that lens in between, that light is chaos, that energy. It's refracting and it's reflecting and it is absorbing and it's, it's just chaos. So we're losing some of that light as it passes through or hits that lens. Remember that energy interference that we talked about in the other video. 
So the best possible is no lens. The next possible would be a lens with a great non-glare or anti-reflective coating. Because what the coating does is lets some of that lost chaotic light back through the lens. That's all it's doing. It's helping. It's making it better than an uncoated lens would be. It's not boosting light. Right? It's not magic of some kind. It's why when we're talking about night driving, we say it's the best that we can do. You're never, ever going to surpass natural light with no lens. You know, there are no batteries here. There are no switches. We're not talking about night vision goggles or something. So an AR coating allows more of the natural light that would be coming into our eye if we weren't wearing a lens through so that we see a little bit better. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching us on Facebook, please give us a like. Watching us on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there in the corner and make certain that every lens you get from Laramie K also includes one of our wonderful AR coatings. I'll see you again next week. The advantage of the Z. <laughs> <laughs>